first of the dad books where I've been talking about a lot where I like read one of my dad's books from his library a month and the book that he picked for me was the Chronicles of Amber this is this is my dad this Papa Mouse over here so like I had said in the previous vlog he uh, plays Santa so don't be alarmed so yeah this is a book that mom suggested for you yes five ever ago 30 yeah about 30 years ago she said so I like to read mm -hmm. Uh, mostly now I listen to audiobooks because I don't need the tactile mm -hmm. that some people need with books. And so uh, I listen to audiobooks. But back in this time, there was audiobooks really weren't a thing. And so, tapes. No, no. Well, even this was even before going to Cracker Barrel and getting audiobooks on tape. You could rent them. But this was before that. And uh, she suggested that she knew I liked science fiction type books. And she suggested that I read this series of books. And so back in the day, we got our books from the Science Fiction Book Club. <laughs> and you buy six, and then you have to buy three more in the next two years at full price, and you get six for th free. So, yes. How did I get that? I, and that's how I built my library. <laughs> Maybe it was I had to buy six in two years or something. I, I don't even think it exists anymore. No, a lot not of my books, books for free yeah. anymore. A lot of my books came that way, so I'd get them from the science, and you'd get a magazine, and you'd order from the magazine and wait three weeks, and you'd get your books. Not like Amazon, but anyway, uh, this is some of the first books I've got, was Chronicles of Amber, so I had no idea what to expect. Yeah. It was rough. <laughs> Obviously, my memory of the book from, from 30 years ago is much different than your reread of so, this work. when I read the first book, I originally rated it three stars. Um, but then I read the second book and I liked it better, but could not give the second book three stars. And so I bumped the first book down to 1.5 stars and the second book got two stars. So, cause this is the two books. Um, so while not my all-time favorite book, no, it no, wasn't. They, no, I, I well, have, your yes, taste more credit yes, than yes. I have other books that and, and other authors that uh, are they were really I would say even go so far as to say they were important in my life. Yeah. They were authors that you know really challenged the way I think and stuff. But still, science fiction. Mostly though, it my science fiction moved to a more fantasy, fantasy. based, and and so I like fantasy books more. But this one. This one, so in the first Chronicles of Amber, we meet uh, Corwin. It's his, he's Corey in the first part. He doesn't know who he is. He wakes up in the hospital. and um, On Earth. On Earth, yes. Normal. In this dimension. Yes. And um, he, they're like, yeah, we're going to drug you. And he's like, no thanks. And he beats up everybody for some reason. And um, they're like, your sister sent you here. And so he goes to go find his sister. And then he realizes that none of these people are who they say they are and that his name is actually Corwin and there are these tarot cards that the siblings the first book is called the nine princes in amber there's like a billion children in this book that belong to amber and they have super strength and they like communicate through these tarot cards and they live forever but and I will say that Honestly, the last time I read that book was the only time I've read it. Yes. So it's not like I have reread it, so it's been a, a long, long time. Long time I, want, yes. I really want you and Mom to reread these books. And see if I still and feel And tell the me same how way. you feel about yeah. them. I'm sure it may be different. Because you can't listen. You can get the audiobooks, but do you know who narrates the audiobooks? The author. The author. That's too bad. So a note for authors. <laughs> don't narrate don't your narrate audiobooks. Don't narrate your book. You probably suck at it. That's why you're a good writer. So, you know, if you if you really are a good writer, you probably don't have the voice to narrate a book. Don't narrate so don't do it. It's don't so do it. bad. You wrote it. That's enough. Leave it at that. Let somebody professional narrate it. So. It's really scary to leave reviews for this book on Goodreads. Because people feel very strongly about this book in a negative or positive, in a positive way. So, like the average rating is like a four point um, for for both of the books is like a four point five out of five stars. And why do you feel like that is? A lot of people read it a long time ago, and <laughs> it's their like basis for how they got into sci-fi. <laughs> So where yeah. I'm at. So yeah. I would have said, without a reread, I would have said, oh, that's a four-star <laughs> book. That's why you, you know, suggested it to me. It's a four-star book. It's a good book. And <laughs> so it has some very good concepts. So one, 
And, and did we talk about the concept? Yes, so, yeah. So for, just... for one, it has a concept about walking the pattern, and it's a, something only the children of Amber can do, and that allows them to move between dimensions. So the book has all these other dimensions, and and at the center of all these dimensions is Amber. And Amber is kind of where everything like spokes on a wheel, I think it even describes it in the book, maybe. Well, and I'm reaching so way back. Here's, so here's the thing. In the book, in the second book, The um, Guns of Avalon, they mention how this all works, and then direct quote, he says, but that's enough about all of that, and then doesn't explain any more about how it Did you read works. the rest of them? No, I still got this. Look, my book okay, for so, this month is the is the next part. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry that you're going to read this whole set. <laughs> no, in there, no, I, no, not the whole set. There's 15 of them. You own most of them. I'm only reading the second volume. Oh, okay. So at somewhere in all of this, he describes it, Amber being at the center like spokes from a wheel. But it reminds me, from a dimensional standpoint, it reminds me of Stephen King's uh, the Dark Tower, which some of you may have seen the movie, or some of you may have read the book. The The Dark Tower, there's lots of... Dimensions? No, there's lots of books. Oh. There is lots of dimensions, but there's lots of books. And speaking of authors that shouldn't do things, he uh, Stephen King is actually uh, a character in that book, in his own book. So Stephen I, King has done a lot of things in his books that he should not do. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and don't get me wrong, some of his stuff's really kind of cool. Some of it's just weird. But... Um, but the Dark Tower and the Gunslinger and, and yeah, the, that cross-dimensional thing is kind of interesting to me. And that was in this book. Yes. So there was, there was cross-dimensional. They were fighting wars with each other. With and the, Napoleon. And yeah, and with, with not just people from Earth, but other creatures. Dimen yeah, yeah. Uh, dimensional creatures. Well, and were. so Avalon, there is one version of Avalon that already exists and then was destroyed. And then there's a new version of Avalon that exists with the same people sort of but not really and so that happened <laughs> yeah it's kind of a confusing book but like i said i don't remember you know you talked about the interaction between men and women in the book which i, I never even considered now 30 years ago was a long time and <laughs> lots of things were different uh if i and you didn't have a loud daughter i didn't have a loud daughter that daughter. challenges <laughs> Everything I believe <laughs> since the beginning of time, I, I didn't have that. Now I do. And so I, I have to say I'm probably more open-minded and more pro-women. Being protagonists in books. And not just in books, but in everything. Yeah. I, you know, I am a strong believer that a woman can do everything a man can do, do it better, and probably do it in high heel shoes with a bunch of kids. So, I mean, they're just, I, I don't know how we got to be uh, who we are in the world, but it's, you know, it's not. We're yeah. not all that. Men are not all that, I'm just going to say. But. Even even the women in this book that could have had... Uh, stronger roles. Stronger roles, like, died, like, a chapter later. Well, you know, that, that way... <laughs> you, you can't keep, let her take right, the keep spotlight from Gorwin. Yeah, like, right, because he was he's our man. manly man hero. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a review on Goodreads that was like, Corwin's main thing is to become king. And why do you become king? Because it's something that you do. You just, it feels great to be king. And that really is like, there is no like, Eric, his brother who he's out to get the throne from, he's not a bad king. It's just, it's, he's yeah. fine. It's just. Even in The Lion King, you know, I just can't wait to be exactly, king. Exactly. Uh, that's that's a song Corwin. Corwin's yeah, like, yeah. I don't care who's king now, I need to be king. <laughs> it so. needs to be well, king. and you know, even the cover, if you look, here's a guy with lots of, lots of the muscles. The cats come in second book i yeah. um was concerned Still because lots of, of muscles yes yeah. lots of muscles cats and... lots of muscles too though but well, that's not the point <laughs> but i'm know? just saying like i was making my macho man image yes. point he has lots of muscles I, the, um second volume has the exact same cover just in a different color oh <laughs> just in case you so, not that they were cheap or anything it was just, <laughs> just in yeah. case you wondered i think the the outside of the like women issues in the book the thing that i really struggled with with this book from like a just a critical standpoint is um he had the groundwork work and the themes for a really really good book like the multi-dimensions and the pattern and all of these siblings with different powers and like the cards and the person who made the cards and how he just like popped up out of the blue at the end of the book spoiler um all very good concepts but then there's like 60 pages of just I don't care, and then like 
no explanation for any of these things. So I did remember reading the book thinking there's some gaps in knowledge in this book. So it, it, it left you to decide for yourself how things happen. And I really like a book that, that kind of ties all the pieces yes. together. And I, I, I didn't feel like that... I, if I remember right, again, 30 years ago. but I That's why I'm going to read the next volume this month, despite like how much I did not enjoy this, is because like I'm hoping that I get a little bit more detail on how the world works, but we'll see. <laughs> for, for those of you that are wondering, which may be nobody. Hey, I uh, have 14 whole subscribers uh, well, at this current point For the 14 right people now. that are wondering, I, my personal favorite series of books is The Wheel of Time, mm -hmm. a fantasy novel that conceptually was groundbreaking, uh, that the author died before he finished. And I have most of those books. The and the author died before he finished. And another author that had been reading since he was a kid finished the books, mm -hmm. which was amazing to me. And I have to say the ending was just incredible. So, And all of the elf series books so the elves of shannara so elf stones the the sword all of those books and i can remember i was in the i was working security at a hospital so again this was more than 30 years yeah. ago working security at a hospital and i'd go to the library and just try to find books that might be interesting to read at the hospital overnight i was all night armed security at a hospital through a door that was locked so they couldn't even get in the door it was really kind of funny but so there's nothing to do and so i read the elf stones was the first book that maybe the first really good uh fantasy novel that i read and it to me was amazing you read a lot of high fantasy I, so that high fantasy is like they're like fit boys and yes. there's like a billion of them Yes, so yes, it's there are like a lot. Very uh, yeah, yeah, lazy I do. I do. <laughs> Terry Goodkind wrote a bunch of those books, which they tried to make a TV show out of, and it was not They're good. Gonna, they have, Amazon has the rights to make Chronicles a TV of show of, of this. I bet they have to change book. it a good bit before. Oh yeah, you know. maybe I, not. You know, there's some pretty bad TV out there, so. You know, if uh, Game of Thrones allowed incest, then why? Can't? <laughs> hey, this is just a Game <laughs> of Thrones book right here. There with, you with go. Multi-dimensional <laughs> concepts that they didn't have in Game of Thrones. It so. really is just Game of Thrones before it's time. <laughs> there you go. So someone's, very good. Someone's gonna come for my neck. I after I read Chronicles of Amber, the second volume. So in March, I will be reading. The Dragon Riders of Kern. Oh, incredible series of books. I met Anne McCaffrey. Anne McCaffrey continued to write books until she was in her 90s. Yeah, until she was. Uh, yeah. Which is amazing to me. I hope my, I have still have my mind when I'm in it's my It's like a Terry Pratchett did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, her books were really... Uh, so, conceptually, her books were amazing. And they... I read all of the... All of the uh, Dragon Rider books. There was some offshoots from those two. Mm -hmm. I read all of them and then read the prequel and it just blew my mind. It was <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Terry uh, Brooks did the same thing in the Elf Stone series. Mm -hmm. uh, I, When we read them, uh, he has a number of series. So he has like Running with the Demons, which is another series of he books that happened in a whole different wow. time. Mm -hmm. wow. So he has a book called Running with the Demons that's in a whole different time and he ties that in with the Shannara books and, you know, post-apocalyptic, which you don't know that's what the Shannara books are. I saw another spoiler there. But um, when you read them thinking, so I did when I was reading them, I thought this feels very post-apocalyptic, although there's no indication in the book that that's what's happening. Right. Uh, but, yeah. It's, no, no, no. Well, that's like, um, so the DFC book that we're listening to, mm -hmm. it's, it's in the same world as... The Heart Striker series that the author also wrote. Um, Heart Striker series by Rachel Aaron, really good to listen to and also read. Um, but it's in the same world and ties in a lot of those things, which we have to listen to the rest of that book. By the yes, way. we do. We, do. <laughs> we ride together on occasion to work. In fact, we both work at the same place, and so it gives us an opportunity to listen to the same books. Although I've found that we listen to the books you choose and not any of the books I choose. You choose but... like. Gold hunting, treasure hunting. That, that was a good book, books. too. It was a good book, but I, I'm listening to the Unsold series or, or 
uh, it's that's not the name of the series. I'm Cradle, the first one. Cradle series is the, is the books I'm listening to now. Incredible series. Uh, at least I think it's an incredible series. A completely different concept. I got it on my iPad. I just we'll have, have to, get to it. we'll have to get to that later on. Later on. Can't talk that, about if we talked about all the books. Yeah, yeah it would take. You, you have too much high fantasy for me to read all of it in this year. So. Oh yes, because <laughs> even if you just listen to the Wheel of Time, it takes like. Months to I get through it. It's hundreds of hours. Time speed, so Still, we'll it's see. hundreds of hours of, of, and some of them you need to listen on five times speed. So Robert Jordan got really sick, and oh. his books really suffered when he was, and he died finally. But when he got really sick, his dark books got really dark and really short, and so. Well, I would have. Yeah. So <laughs> if you're dying. I, no, <laughs> yes. So some of his books are like this thick, and then some of them are like this thick. It's like, did we just release that? It's not even a whole book. So. Yeah. Anyway, great author, don't get me wrong, and and Brandon Sanderson, who finished the books, oh my god. He wrote a bunch of sci-fi books that people are reading now. I brought him up and you were like, who? I don't know who that Brandon? is. And I was oh, like, yes. I think you know yes, who that Brandon is. Yes, Brandon Sanderson wrote the Mistborn series. He's yeah, so written... a bunch of people on book Twitter are like really into the Mistborn series right yes. now. Those are incredible books, completely different concept of fantasy. Then he wrote uh, books about... The, a star came out and made all these superheroes, and now they control the world. And he's got a new book series that I think is YA, actually. And what is it? I don't. I remember seeing the sequel, but I would have to look because I'm not. He, he also wrote the. Um, I'm reading those. The the the. I can't even think of the title, but they're very good. And he's got a book that ties all the. He's going to ultimately, at least in an article I read, tie all of these different worlds mm -hmm. together. Hmm. Which, you know, from a concept, that's a huge task. Yes. Because, But he's got some books where people are traveling between these different universes and seeing, you know, and so it's kind of it's kind of interesting. But, yeah. Yeah, the Mistborn series was a good book. Um, loved it. And, um, yeah, it's getting a bunch of hype online. But it's days. been around a while, too. It yeah. was like, maybe, I'm not going to say his first series, but it was, it was a, but the concept. Yeah. Thanks for coming on my channel. Hey, this is great. Maybe we'll do it again. Hopefully, because I decided I'm going to do this monthly. So. <laughs> Very good. I think I can do this once a month. So. I enjoy, you know, we can talk about anything. anything forever. We could actually have a blog about any subject and yes. we'd make crap up if we didn't know what. <laughs> no, we talked about I would. <laughs> I would. And you would search on Google and say, no, that's not right. No, that's not right. So, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you want Papa Mouse to come on this channel again. Um, he probably will whether you do or not. But so, That's right. But <laughs> I'd like to know if you liked it. Yeah, so, so you know, know if It's you, an ego builder if you, if you like say, it. hey, that's I, great. I know that I didn't encourage anyone to read this book, but I do encourage if you have parents who um, read a lot, go through their libraries and read something that they read, and maybe it might be terrible, it might be good. You'll see. But you'll find something that you have in common. Yes. If you both read the book. Yeah. So it's a great thing to share. Yes. Perfect. All right. Bye. Bye.